<laughs> Good morning, precious. Today, Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Yeah, you know what it is. You know what it is. Thank you for joining your girl with coffee and conversation. Where's she can you? Subscribe to that YouTube channel. She can you don't click that button. Go on. Go on and click it. Feel. Hey Isaiah, what you doing? Call you okay? I'll call you in a minute. Hey G, what up, baby? Oh y'all jumping out? Y'all thought y'all was gonna see some nakedness this morning? <laughs> y'all was all on my live yesterday. Yeah, y'all thought y'all was gonna see that? No, nope, not this morning. No, nope. we talking about parenting stuff this morning. I right, gotcha. <laughs> So yeah guys, those of you who's been following my story and my journey as far as this co-parenting workshop and the reasons why, those parents, I'm kicking it with y'all today. Have y'all had to talk with y'all kids yet? You know, the talk. No, not the talk that you have with them about how to conduct themselves with law enforcement. Yeah, not that talk. I know that's an important talk too to have, I know. Not that talk, but the talk with your baby when y'all trying to reconnect, you know. You know, when that parent and child unit fails because of the hands of someone else. Nine times out of ten, the other parent that's still mad and bitter at you because y'all not together. So they don't use that baby as a pawn against you. Yeah, that talk. Yeah, when you're trying to reconnect with that baby and establish a new relationship because the other relationship is broken and gone and done away with as a result of, oh, y'all got to pull my mask on. Taste this part. I know, I know. Ooh, ooh, fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Yeah, guys, that talk. I know. Most difficult conversation to have with your baby. Yeah. Because it's all adult content. I know. I, all adult content. I know. And it's a difficult conversation to have for many different reasons, you know, depending on your situation and how the relationship deteriorated and what happened and things of that nature. Yeah, it's a very difficult conversation to have because chances are your kid ain't going to be able to uh, answer none of the questions that you have for them as to the reason why. You know what I'm saying? Because technically that's not even a conversation you're supposed to have with a kid. That's the conversation you're supposed to have with that other parent. So as a result of, I know I've been trying to come on and encourage y'all. I know, I've, I've been trying. <laughs> but since I'm going through it, I can only take you as far as my journey goes with this situation. And for those of you who don't know the situation, you need to go to my uh, YouTube channel, Shikinga, and go to all the coffee and conversations and get caught up. Catch up, Mustard, because as of right now, I'm kicking it with my people that's been following me, that subscribe to the channel, that's on the same journey that I'm on, going through it like I'm going through it. Those are the people that I'm kicking it with today. So yeah, that conversation, guys, that's the most difficult conversation you're going to have. And I'm telling you now, I know I'll be trying to encourage you. <laughs> I'll be trying. I can't give you much encouragement on this one right here because of my current situation. I didn't get the answers that I was looking for in the conversation. Yep. Um, I, uh, only thing I got out of her was she was young, she don't know what was going on, and um, what else did I get out of her? It's, it's over with now. <laughs> I know. That is not the answer that you want to get when you have a situation such as ours. You know what I mean? You want to you get clarification as to why 
the situation happen. You want to know what was said behind the scenes to even encourage a child to want to not talk to you or distance themselves from you. I mean, it was so many questions that I had, and she couldn't answer none of them. You know, so like I said, that's a, that's a difficult conversation to have. That's a conversation. How you doing, baby? That a child should never have to have with a parent or vice versa. You know, certain conversations is strictly for the parents. So as a result of that, guys. I've added another part. Hey, baby, how you doing? Long time no see. I missed you. I came in here last week. I know. I came in here last week. That was my first video last week. Um. No, I got to get them. Yeah, I got to get Get your in-purse, guys, if you shop at Myers. Yep, I got to get my in-purse card. Huh? Oh wow, okay. I'm gonna get on it. I missed you too. Yeah. So this is my second video. I'm trying to get back at least once a week. You know, get back up in here. Me. You follow me? Oh I hope you enjoy what you see. <laughs> Have a good day, baby. Okay, guys. Woo! Fix it, Jesus. So yeah, that is that was a it was a difficult conversation to have with her. And I still didn't get the answers that I was looking for. You know what I mean? So I'm still left with confusion. And for those of you who don't know the situation, you gotta go back to my YouTube channel and subscribe to Shakinya and look at all the other videos. So for parents like me, you know, it's certain situations with parents when they break up where they constantly beef and they at each other's throats, they cussing each other out on site, ready to fight, throw them blows. Yeah, those situations, I get it, you know what I mean? But if you was a situation like mine's where you didn't know what was going on and you was blindsided and you was doing everything you were supposed to do as a parent, so you would never have thought in a million years that anybody would try to turn your child against you, those parents, them the ones I'm talking to, yeah, blindsided. So it's like, when you blindsided like that, it's so many questions, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Oh, excuse me, it's a Christian show. What the hell happened? Where was the breakdown at in communication with the other parent? You know what I mean? That was involved. Like, what was you doing that was so wrong? Like, how could the child jump ship so easy? Like, it was so many questions that I had, and I ain't get none of them answered. None of them answered. And I'm going to be honest with you, I've come to grips with understanding or, or accepting that I probably would never know. I probably would never know why it happened, what happened, none of that. Only thing I can tell you is what I've gotten out the experience was the birth of the co-parenting workshop. That's what I took and that's what I got out of this experience. The hurt, the pain, all that. I put it into this workshop because I don't feel that no child or no parent should have to go through what I went through with, with my situation. So, therefore, I've added another week on to that workshop. Yep, originally it was like an eight-week program. It was teetling until nine. But I'm going to add another week to that program. And I'm going to be honest with you. In that workshop, the children are going to be invited to that workshop. Yep, they're going to be invited to that workshop. And in that workshop, that parent that turned that child against the other parent and caused all of the mayhem of what's going on, they're going to have to apologize to that parent in front of that child and I apologize to that child in front of the parent and actually I'm gonna have them go as deep as to tell the reasons why they did what they did and what they did just to clarify and everybody will be on the same page about that you know because I feel like some things need to be set back into place when a situation like that happens and if you don't know a situation situation where for instance you with somebody or divorce break up for whatever reason let's say the baby mama mad because you cheated with her cousin or something like that so or you cheated with her best friend or you just cheated period and got caught you know what i mean it's just she mad now you know what i mean and it's a given that's that's hurtful you know somebody don't cheat on you or whatever and out here you community they think that they got you and you they don't and you know that's a hurtful feeling but the flip side of that is that's not a legitimate reason to keep that child away from that other parent. Just because they didn't treat you right. And just because they were a terrible husband or a terrible boyfriend. That doesn't mean that they're a terrible parent. So that's unfair for you to use that as a reason. To turn this child against their daddy. And, or keep that child away from their daddy. Because you mad because he's still with Patricia. You know what I mean? So it's like that's very unfortunate. But in my program Attitude Adjustment. That's all I deal with. 
You got a lot of these daddies, these baby daddies that's running around here acting like school and baby mamas. They mad because their ego is crushed because you left them. You don't want nothing to do with them. You're not with them no more. Those men turn them children against that parent. They turn them against that mama. Yeah, you wouldn't think that it happened, but in my program, it happens more than what you think. So I know that it is an importance or, 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 or a meaning for this program. It's a need for it. So I'm about to unleash it. But yeah, that last week going to be something crucial because I'm going to have to bring that baby in there and that baby going to have to see what's going on and what's really been going on all this time. So they'll know. You know what I mean? So yeah, guys, that's it. I ain't even sip my coffee for coffee and conversation. I just had to jump in with y'all. Yeah, I'm only doing this once a week thing with y'all until I get y'all on board with subscribing to that YouTube channel, Shikini. So, yeah, I hope y'all been following me. I hope y'all been seeing everything that your girl been doing. Yep, I hope you support me. I hope you share it if you like it. Yep, do that. Because that's another thing I want to talk about, about support. I don't think some of y'all know what support is, you know, or how to do it. You know what I mean? And that's not saying good or bad. I'm just saying. You know, so I'm going to give you a couple things that you should look out for. Yep. If you're doing something, whatever your profession is, you know, and then you see that people are referring your business or people are sharing. Hey, Serena, how you doing, gorgeous? Hubble, hubble. <laughs> and, and they share your stuff or they refer your business. That is a form of support. They are supporting you. They are supporting what you do. So if they tag you on something, when somebody was looking for something or recommendation for something, they tag you or tag your business or they tell somebody or refer your business, that right there is support. And if you know, like I know, as an entrepreneur, it's hard to get that. Yeah, true. Okay. So I want you to double back. If you have people in your life that has done that, for you if they have a business or they have something going on hey jayhawk how you doing baby oh i ain't sending no waves oh god dang it hey latricia hey christopher god darn it how you doing this morning hey red red in the house how you doing baby i'm so sorry yep mm, auntie love you what up dre how you doing terry did i get you all t hey tiki i ain't forgot about you tiki i'm gonna hit you up later on today girl i just been real busy but i ain't forgot about you tiki i swear i have and i love you joe yellow self hey isaiah i'm gonna call you in a minute okay G, I think i got all y'all i think i did i hope i didn't forget anybody so yeah guys yeah, so if they have a business or have anything, don't take for granted just because they sharing your stuff that, you know, hey, your business is more great or, or better that, you know, hey, they had to. No, I don't care what they doing. I don't care what you doing. I don't care what they doing. If they take the time out to support you in any kind of way, rather be your for your business, tag you, whatever, however way they doing it. God damn it. Support theirs. Share their stuff on your page. Refer their business out when you out talking to people. Like, I swear to you, your closest family and friends should be the type of your conversations that you have daily with other people. If you got family and friends that got businesses and hustles, when you talking to other people about whatever you talking about, their name should be coming up out your mouth at least four or five times a day. All the people. And if you're not associating your people with places or businesses that you can refer, you need to change your circle. Because I'm telling you, all your people that you hang around in your camp, if they doing something, you should be referring they business out and you should be talking about them your name should be ringing i was so shocked when i found my found out my place in people's lives when i found out people wasn't kicking it about me and talking about me it hurt it hurt i swear it hurt because at some point my name should be coming out of somebody's mouth if you have a business that you're trying to promote somebody should be talking about my radio show because that's all i do is promote our people and promote what's going on with our people and bring informative information to our people so if you got a business Mainly black on, I support everybody, but mainly black on, there is no there is no reason why my name shouldn't have came out your mouth when you having a conversation with somebody with a business for them to come and come on my show and promote. I know. If you're talking about books, at some point my name should have came out your mouth if I went to school with you, if I grew up with you, if I'm part of your family. There is no reason why my name shouldn't have came out your mouth with the dysfunctional family. Now, how many authors do you know personally? I know. So, I'm just telling you, when it comes to support, support your people, especially if they supporting you. And I'm out, guys. Make you make sure you subscribe to that uh, YouTube channel, Shit Can You. Hit that subscribe button so you can get notifications when I come on. And check out all the other videos. I'll be putting everything on my YouTube channel. And, yeah, follow the Detroit Metro, guys. That show is going to be hot, if it's not hot already. Yep, y'all seen the behind the scenes from the Oasis? I know. Mm, that's your girl. 47 looks good on me. I'm out, guys. Mm -hmm.